What's good family? Welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we have Exposing Demonic Altars at Disney, the House of Blues. This was posted by Richard Lorenzo Jr. So let's give this video a look. He posts good content. And a lot of the times we do come across demonic things that are just out in regular places. So let's get straight into this. Straight blasphemy of the Lord Jesus. Wow. Lucifer Express. 666. That's another demon holding a child. Anytime the House of Blues opens, yeah, we have a big party where um, there's a ceremonial Mississippi mud pour where they put mud underneath the stages from all of the uh, crossroads where Robert Johnson sold his soul to the devil so he could play the blues. This is an entire demonic altar. Literally, a demonic altar set up. Are you kidding me? And you're, you're cool with us recording and everything. They, 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 they allow it. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. At so guys, Disney, this is uh, the actual club that she was talking about where 2,000 people could fit. Look, it looks like an, an abandoned church. So what they're trying to do is it's blasphemy against the church. This is the synagogue of Satan. They're literally, this is blasphemy towards the Lord. A juju guardian. These guardians aren't your typical security guards. Place them anywhere you need protection from negativity and evil, and they'll take care of the rest. Can I ask you a question? What is the rock church? It's a cult. It's a church. Because it's a cult. It's scary. Crazy. Hey, what's going on, family? So we are at Disney Springs right now. It's about noon on a Monday. We're going to go out there and evangelize. I believe there's going to be encounters. I believe we're going to expose the agendas of witchcraft. I was praying earlier before we came in on the, in the parking lot of Disney Springs, and the Lord took me up into a trance and showed me. He showed me how they're conditioning children. He, he showed me a vision of a young baby in a pool like, it was like a water. It was like a tub of water, like a tank of water. And it was oh, it was a young kid. It was a, it was a baby, actually. It was a, it was a newborn. There was an umbilical cord that was attached to the baby in the tank, and it was coming out of the water. And there were scientists on the outside that were controlling the umbilical cord. So the Lord showed me that, that there's cloning going on, literal cloning and also conditioning. They're trying to condition kids at a young age, at, as a baby, as a newborn, with their agenda. So we're going to mm. just see what they have around here. I've already seen some stuff That's that deep. looks kind of new agey witchcraft in a way. And just see what happens, man. I'm pretty sure the wow. Lord's going to move. And earlier today, when I was praying before we even came at the church for this for coming here, I seen a whole witch, and she had a wizard hat on with a with a wand, and she and she was pointing it at me, and that's when the Lord gave me the, the revelation: go to Disney Springs, expose darkness, and pray for people. So that's why we're here. It was the vision I got earlier in the in the spirit, and then the one I just got in the parking lot. So the Lord is saying that He wants to expose the darkness, so that His children, His babies, will know the truth. Parents, make sure that you are knowledgeable. The, the Bible says you'll be delivered through knowledge, and that people will also die for lack of knowledge. So if you want freedom in your life and different areas make sure you acquire the knowledge and have revelation and understanding behind it yes knowledge puffs up and love edifies but that's a that's not that's not what it means it doesn't mean don't get knowledge no it's saying that if you put knowledge above love then you're prideful make sure love is always the, in the forefront so in love mm -hmm. i come here to expose darkness and let the lord move the holy ghost is going to move powerfully so let's get it man that's this good this is the entrance there's nobody really out here. It's really hot. Again, it's on a Monday. Father's Day was yesterday. We were actually out here. It was packed. But as you can see, like these are like the bars and the places where people drink, and there's nobody really out here. It's perfect for evangelism. That's the House of Blues, I believe. Look at this. So this is the outside of the House of Blues, as you guys can see. Look. Just on the outside, you can see. Look at, look at the demonic statues. Look at this. It just looks demonic. And it's the house of blues, the house of depression. Look at, look at this. What kind of, it just looks demonic. Look at that, alcohol at the top. They say that, that blues is, is a type of music. It's a depression, it's, a, it's, it's like a depressed type of music. And alcohol, you guys know, is, is spirits as well. So it's demonic spirits of depression, suicide, all these different things. So we're just exposing it. As you guys can see, that's even African voodoo over here, African symbolism. Look at this. It just looks demonic, man. Look inside. Look at this. Look at that. On a cross. Look at the wow. type of blasphemy. Look at that. They put a they they put a they put an idol, a demon on a cross. Straight blasphemy of the Lord Jesus. Highway 61. Look wow. at this. This is a woman leaving a man, packing her bags, leaving her, her husband. Look at the short dress. Look at the red bottoms. Sexual perversion, immorality. Look at the dog. It's a demon. She's following the dog, leaving her husband. Adultery. Look, on a crossroads. Look, they even put a red cross. Look at this. 
and look where it goes up to. Satan with a guitar in his hand. And look at that. Look at look what it says right there. Lucifer Express 666. You see, look, I can't make this up, bro. This is in Disney Springs where little kids walk in. This is the first thing you see. Look at look at the art, bro. I'm telling you, man, the devil's a liar. This is in the, this That's is what the I'm saying. first and, spot. Look at and it's like being in the position where you're unaware of the truth unaware of the word of God, you will be in a place like this and look at all these different types of artifacts and drawings and paintings and pictures and have no clue that it really has demonic origins. This, look at this, bro, are you kidding me? But he's Maybe obviously he's just spiritually feet. aware. Look at that, that's another demon holding a child. That's a demon holding a child. A man in a coffin, witchcraft. And like I said earlier, look at that. Look at the blasphemy, straight blasphemy, bro. And these are all totem poles. And I said earlier, look at that. This, look at the blasphemy. This one's just undeniable. Come on now. Undeniable in the house of the blues. Straight blasphemy, bro. And these are all totem poles. They used to use totem poles in the Old Testament. The pagans would use totem poles for idol worship. Look at this. Look at this This, this angel of light. A fallen angel. But yeah, as you guys can see, the totem poles. When people, when people say, you know, you shouldn't have a Christmas tree, when they're in the book of Jeremiah, I believe, when it talks about ornaments on the tree it was actually talking about a totem pole this literally when the lord says do not put any ornaments you see what i'm saying ornaments on a pole they would actually put ornaments on a pole and worship it it was it was witchcraft you know wow. what let's go inside let's see what they got inside and, and some people would be wondering like oh like what's so bad about it what's so bad about like these these false gods really idols is that it's keeping you away from jesus it's keeping you away from worshiping and, and only worshiping jesus as the one true god that's why you doing? that's why you'll see the blasphemy so often. Cool. Is that is that a is that a cross right there? That, oh that's a pulpit and a cross. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Mark Yo. 16, 15 in my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take a look at look at this. And look at there's there's a little little offering bucket where they put toothpicks. And and, and she said this this is a pulpit. A literal pulpit. But look at the top. Look at, and it's, 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 a, it's a preacher, right? It's a preacher statue, it's right? It's a false they preacher. It's funny. Look, it's a preacher statue. False and there's a snake on this. Look at this. There's a snake. Is there like a lot more? Is there, is there any more like Christian or like like, wow. the, like uh, demonology stuff or stuff like that you guys have in here? Like art? It says, it says be, be aware of wolves dressed, dressed in sheep clothing. And they're like, like, like uh, demonology stuff or stuff like that you guys have in here? Like art? Who done the artwork? All of their name plaques are up, and they came in and did ceremonies, hanging everything. Um, so you said ceremonies? Yeah, they came in and done like shut down a restaurant for everybody to come and hang the artwork, um, things like that, and did like a private dinner for the artists. And did um, a ceremony, you said? Yeah. What kind of ceremony is that? Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't here 25 years ago when the restaurant opened. Um, wow. So, so when they started the restaurant 25 years ago here, they did a ceremony. Yeah, they did all the hanging of artwork. From like from New everything. Orleans. From New Orleans? Um, I'm not super sure. Creole, you said, right? Yes. So from French descent? Yes. Okay. That's crazy. So it probably was like some voodoo. <laughs> Possibly, but I'm not super sure. You're more than welcome to take a look around at any of the art and depend okay. on however you'd like to. Um, Do you recommend any things like, like, like any voodoo area like so, or something like that? Not really, um, but you're more than welcome to take a look around okay. and perceive it however you'd like to. Thank you. I appreciate it. She said perceive it however you'd like to perceive it. <laughs> Did you just hear that? The worker just said they did a ceremony 25 years ago in this shop. In this, this pisses me off. And this is where children come in. This is the first thing you see when you come to Disney Springs. It's Sakata. We take authority over the spot in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. House of Blues. Oh, my goodness. Look at the sign. Look at this. Can I see this? Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll come around. We'll come around. Look at the stage for the House of Blues. The stage for the Fire. House of Blues. Look at it. Bro, you can't make this up, bro. Can't, it's literally can't, hell. Bro. It's literally hell. Flames. Can't. Oh, look at this. It, it is. Some more blasphemy. Bro, this, this should be obvious. Look at this. Some more blasphemy. Look at that. You see? This is why I tell people all the time. Look at this. Some more blasphemy. Look at that. You see? This is why I tell people all the time. When you go to a psychic shop or a witchcraft shop or anything, they'll try to use pictures like that to say that they believe in Jesus. And that everything they're doing is a deeper revelation, a new revelation of the Bible that, that, that pastors and preachers don't know what they're doing. Yeah, bro. And that they have this deeper, and, that, and that's why voodoo is okay. You see? They even have, look at this. The Last Supper. Look at this, a whole demon. Look. A snake, a Nephilim, horns, tail. It's a whole demon. Look at this one. Another one. It's this like flooded with it. 
This is crazy. And the the thing about it is that all of these pictures have a have a spiritual origination from it. As you guys can see, the horns. You have you had Satan in the last picture. Obviously, the cross with someone hanging on it. Everything is really coming from a spiritual place. So now it's, it's really deciphering what place spiritually is it coming from? Is it coming from God or is it coming from demons? This is crazy. How you doing? Hey, quick question. Are you? Uh, we're just vlogging. Are you down to like do a quick interview? You, do you work here? Oh yeah, I'm the manager. Oh, you're the manager. Yeah. Oh, what are the chances? Yeah, okay. Nice to meet you. My name is Rich. Hi. So, wow. How long has this has the House of Blues been open? Bro, this is since this is absolutely led by the. I'm gonna let the rest of the video play. I'm sorry for interrupting, but this is absolutely led by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God, because she's actually the one that we saw in the beginning, revealing all the deeper information, especially from that one musician that ended up selling his soul at the cross, at the crossroads from the picture that we saw be, from the beginning. I just happen to have some knowledge about it. But this is just amazing. So now he's about to get a lot of information from her. Oh, wow. So about 25 years. Yeah. And now um, we were talking to the people at the front. So what happened? Look at all the flames uh, in the background. Like a meeting or a ceremony that was done? Oh, anytime the House of Blues opens, yeah, we have a big party where um, there's a ceremonial Mississippi mud pour where they put mud underneath the stages from all of the, um, or where the crossroads where Robert Johnson allegedly sold his soul to play the blues. So, so wait, Ro Robert, Robert Johnson, Johnson played, sold it, like, Father of the Blues, yeah. Sold his soul for the... Sold his soul to the devil so he could play the blues. That's the myth. That's the folklore. So uh, Robert Johnson, that's where the folklore. mysterious number 27 comes from too. Like a lot of people die at 27 in the music world. He passed away at 27 years old. So you've got like Janis Joplin, Kurt Cobain. So it's kind of a mystery folklore of selling your soul folklore. to the devil to play the blues. Why is that number so you? I never knew that. There's a corner outside uh, near our water tower, and you'll see the number 27 painted on there. Can, so. can you show me? Or is it too much? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Really? What? This is crazy. I didn't... I, this is like... This is a lot of information. Look at that. Is that the Virgin Mary up there? Yeah. Wow. A Virgin Mary with a, with a cross or... or a sword in her. A sword in her heart. Wow. Okay. The building is covered in all original pieces. So all of this is done by typically Southern folk artists and everybody that has contributed to the building is pretty well known. For really? Me. Wow. The imagination arch is really cool. You might like that. that yeah, show me, show me, show me. A anything that's like really trippy. Whoa. So when the artist built this, he uh, took people that were walking by and asked them to just put little trinkets as they went. So there's even a wedding ring somewhere in here. A girl's engagement broke off, so she passed him a wedding ring. And um, he was inspired by a dream he had. It, he was in a coma. So this was uh, people that like came wow. to visit him. So you can see there's like, on the other side too, there's a lot of faces popping up. Mr. Imagination was visited by, um, he felt like they were ancient Egyptians in his vision is from what I remember. So it was just like a bunch of faces coming out. A bunch but, of faces, like, 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 like different looking faces. Yeah. Like, so he saw like, a, like an alligator up there, as you can see. Mm -hmm. At the top is like a, is a kind of like an all-seeing eye. And, yeah, and check out the front. There's a big eye right in the front for sure. Wow. What? Yeah. And then, and then this, this is the, there's like, again, a I see a lot of crosses. A lot of crosses, yeah. It's a, a snake. Imagery, but then also bro, a cross with the snake on it, bro. Creole culture, voodoo culture. Can we get the front really quick? Really? Come, come here, come here. Look at this. A whole bunch of... Wow. Oh, what? Bro, get the top too. Look at the beads. And a, a lot of people... First off, this is the all-seeing eye. We talk about this a lot within within my channel in itself. You know what I'm saying? The all-seeing eye, Illuminati, and how they're constantly in... In connection with demons so they understand what to do in this world so they can gain control and power for the new world order that's the all seeing eye in itself but then a lot of this also has to do with voodoo and i like the fact that she especially mentioned that he got this vision from a dream and you see this a lot like even with the movie avatar he had gotten the the vision of avatar from a dream we made a bit on that also this is an entire demonic altar yeah literally a demonic altar set up are you kidding me Wow. Cool, right? Wow. And, and you're one of the managers, right? Yeah, I'm so, in so, so, so you have a lot of the hips. Hip, you know a lot of the I've been here eight years, but I've come to this place like 20, 25 probably since I opened when I was little. Wow. And, and you're, you're cool with us recording and everything. Yeah, they, 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 they allow sure. it. Okay. Cool. I'm cool with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's the corner right here where it's the 27. Oh. It's a little bit different. 
What in hell? Wait, did it say Jesus oh. saves up there? What in hell water? Jesus repent. Repent. What does repent mean? Pretty cool. To uh, be forgiven for your sins. Repent. So, so like, what are these? Like, are these, is this like a Christian area? I don't, I'm not too familiar with this artist, but I've always just really liked this corner. Bro, you can't make this up, bro. This is the first thing that you see when you walk into Disney Springs. It's a whole demonic altar. I just preached on this last Saturday on demonic altars a few days ago. This is an entire demonic altar. They actually came here with an intention putting mud. Did you guys see that Mr. Impossible thing with all, like, she said a woman whose engagement broke off, she took the ring and put it in there. So that was a whole shrine. That was a whole, that was another altar. This is a bunch of demonic altars here with one major altar. All power through the altar of sin and iniquity of Satan. Bro, you cannot make this up. Do you see this? Do you see how satanic this is? This is the first thing you see when you walk in. This is what I saw in the dream, bro. This is what I saw in this, in this, look. This is what I saw in the spirit, look. You see that black crow? You see that black crow? Bro, this is, this is the hat I saw that I told you guys earlier that I saw in the spirit. I saw this hat. Remember I told you, Kevin? I saw this hat in the spirit, a witch hat. When I was in prayer early this morning, when we got to the church at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m., sorry, at 8 a.m., we get into prayer from 8 to 9, I got taken into a trance, and God showed me that. I couldn't see the face of the person. It was like a shadow, but I saw the hat, and I saw a wand like this, and I heard the Lord say, go to Disney Springs. What are the chances we get here? This sign is right here, the same hat I saw. This is confirmation that this is this is from the Lord Jesus Christ. He wanted us to come wow, here and expose super it. Confirmation. We just right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you sent us here to expose it, Lord. We just pray that there be angels set up around here, Lord, that everyone that's not supposed to be here, not be here, Lord, that you shatter demonic altars in the spirit, Father God. No more demonic portals be opened. No more demonic portals be opened around this spot in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would shut this place down in the spirit, Father. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let this turn into something Christian. Let this be transformed. Let this have no more power over sin, Lord, over people in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you, and if you come in agreement with me, I want you to comment down below. If you pray, I want you to pray with me. I know this video is going to probably be I'm coming agree, man. But I want you to pray with me and I want you to comment down below. I prayed in Jesus name. Amen. And yes, we don't have no fear because we have authority. We have the power of God backing us up. His presence went before us. He confirmed to me that this is where he wanted me to be. And he brought us to the first spot. What are the chances that I have? The Lord says Disney Springs is a word of knowledge. And then I see that in the spirit. That is the Lord Jesus Christ himself confirming it. The Lord yeah. is good. Now we're going to continue our tour. Of Disney Springs. Let's see what else we can expose. Bro, that. Next, I'm up next, my brothers and my sisters. If you don't know, I'm up next. My newest single just came out. I no longer go by Rich 99. It's Richard. Bro. That, that's the, I think, yeah, that's the first building. Besides that bar that they walk by. But that's like the first attraction when going to Disney Springs. And for it to have all that demonic stuff. I mean, it was just in plain sight. You had a snake on the cross. You had 666. You had the girl. You had the woman walking. The adulterous woman walking away from her husband. Going to the crossroads. Heading towards Satan. It literally says in the word of God. That the adulterous woman's path leads to the grave. Leads to hell. It literally says that in Proverbs. And you were able to see that. Knowing that. Knowing that scripture. You're able to see that in the physical and like, wow, boom, right here. We know that's not of God. There's an adulterous woman walking towards him. And just so many other things, especially even when it came to that one musician. Get actual serious club. out here. So guys, this is the actual club that she was talking about where 2,000 people could fit. Look, this is a literal, look at this. This is the human skulls with the cross. This is blasphemy. Remember a lot I told of you crosses, guys yeah. when I was doing Haiti back in, and uh, when I was doing voodoo back in Haiti, they would have the skulls inside the huts. This is literally what they had. Like it, it looked like it was, and it was, it was all red. This is another altar set up. Now look at this too. This is the actual club. Those are the crosses. Look at so when you walk into the club. So this, so what this is is it's, it looks like, it looks like an, an abandoned church. So it's like so what they're trying to do is it's blasphemy against the church. They're trying to make it the church into a club, bro. This is a satanic church, bro. This is literally a satanic church. This is the, this is the synagogue of Satan. They're literally, this is blasphemy towards the Lord. Wow. They made a nightclub where worldly performers perform like Lady Gaga and different stuff like that. They made this into a club. They made this into a club, bro. I wish I can go inside. I wonder what's inside of there, bro. That's crazy. And this is the store. I've been to Disney Springs before, but I never paid attention to this. I was literally led here by the spirit. 
Me and Kevin were let here. I guess this is the store? Is this the store? This is crazy. Those are the tarot what cards. Is, bro, like, what They're is... They're literally tarot cards. Bro, like, what the heck? I'm just, I'm just wondering. Like, bro, like, Disney Springs is really on their, like, spiritual stuff in a demonic way, bro. Like, and it's so, it's so potent with it. Like, it's so concentrated. It's not, like, just one here and one there. Like, they're really on it. When it comes to this demonic stuff. A sun catcher, the moon. This is this is literally all tarot Bruh. cards. How you doing? Quick question. Are these uh are these like uh tarot card tarot card pictures? Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Sun catchers. Sun catchers. Um, can I get the black one? Okay. And that's for incense, I believe. Look at the art. Look at they got the they got the art back there. What are these? This is the what's, what's this? This is a juju guardian? Bro, all that is false. A juju man. guardian. This is what we saw earlier over there. These guards, this is what I'm gonna read it. These guardians aren't your typical security guards. Place them anywhere you need protection from negativity and evil, and they'll take care of the rest. This is interesting. It's a voodoo guardian. Interesting. I'm gonna get an interview with the. I'm gonna get an interview with her. I wanna. I wanna see what what this is all about. Look at a whole bunch of incense. Look at this, Buddha. Look at this. House of Blues shopping tip. Avoid, avoid bad karma. Don't steal. You guys know what karma is. It's Buddhist theology. We don't believe in karma. Because when you ask somebody about karma, good and evil, how do you know what karma is? And you know what? I'm going to ask her about karma. I want to see if she knows. I'm going <laughs> to interview her, on the her spot. when she finishes up the transaction. This is crazy. Literally. Put her on the spot. You guys saw it. There were bad juju statues. Bruh. Are you kidding me? That's Are you a, kidding me? That's, but that's, that's almost a false idol in itself. You over here... You over here putting power in this little thing. That's like me saying, all right, this right here is going to protect you from from uh, bad spirits and bad energy here. Don't rely on God for that. Come on. This is so obvious it's not even funny. House of Blues. Don't I was obviously being sarcastic. Anywhere in the nation. Don't ever support them. And remember, the manager of the store allowed us to record. We got it on video. So they can't try to sue us or take down the video. This is this is this is this is the Lord. You feel that this is the Lord, right? One hundred percent. the Lord. Yeah. Like how like how I see it, bro. Like we just like bro. We could leave right now. We have a whole viral video, but we're not gonna leave. But we, and, and put this on YouTube. Like literally, we could leave right now and have enough content for like three two weeks. But we're gonna keep. We're gonna go. I want to go evangelize. And by the way, for the lady that interviewed me, I didn't feel led. I didn't feel led to preach to her. The Lord told me not to because there was more stuff He wanted to expose. It could have stopped it. It could have blocked it. So you gotta be smart. I think it's funny, look, upcycle drum symbols, drum symbols, you know what the Bible says, without love you're like a clinging symbol, so that's blasphemy against the Bible again. And look how they, they turn the symbol, the symbol into a heart. You see what I'm saying? Like, the, the devil, the demons know the Bible more than, more than most Christians, more than me. They know the Bible, they've been studying it for thousands of years, they're ancient. How you doing? How you doing? Are you a manager here? No. It's a worker? Oh, okay. I was wondering if I could I ask you guys any questions. Sure. I know, like a little, I guess, we're, we're vlogging, but um, can we interview you? Sure. All right. Is that that's cool? Yeah. You want to come over here? Yeah. So, how long have you been working here? Uh, a little over a year. And do you like it? Yeah. And um, where are you from? Born in Miami, raised in Colorado, been in Orlando for over 40 years. That's cool. I'm, I'm from Broward. Why does she look down when she said Orlando that? Orlando for... Over 40 years. That's cool. I'm from Broward. I was born. I was born in Broward. Oh, right on. Raised out there. I've been to Colorado too. That's cool. Yeah. So, random question. I saw in the front it said bad karma, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or like good karma, bad karma. What do you believe karma is? Well, I think what you put out into the universe, you get back, right? Do you, do, you always... do you believe in karma? Mm, as much as I can believe in any higher power, yeah. And what defines good? Helping one another. Do you think we have a soul, spirit, and body? I would like to believe that. I mean, the closest the. The philosophy I was closest to uh, learning about was Native American philosophy. Shamanism? Um, like the Sioux Indians. So it believes in, you know, we're all energy, and that energy never totally dispels. And when you die, it just goes back, that energy goes back to the earth. Or, you know, some people believe we come from the stars, right? We're all made of stardust. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing, so. And do you believe they're spiritual entities? I haven't encountered any. I would love to. You've never encountered, like, sleep paralysis or, like, how people experience those things? 
not without um, the help of hallucinogens. Exactly, like LSD. <laughs> I've taken LSD too. Right. And, you, and you've encountered them. Right. So I encountered those things when um, I guess those barriers have been broken down due to some kind of medical intervention. Like right. it's kind of like when you access the spirit realm. Right. Otherwise, it's very hard for me to quiet my mind because I live in a very busy city. And I'm a very busy environment, and a lot of times when I go home, I don't, I don't want to hear any. So, so you said you have encountered spiritual beings when you were on LS, or psychedelics? Yeah. And what did you encounter? Just feeling like I could believe in a higher power. Yeah. Because, it, because, like because there was a, a, a god or it had, like there had to be. Yeah. When, I, when I was on LSD, it was like because you're out of the physical realm, you yeah. know that there's a spiritual realm because you're encountering you the feel, spiritual. You feel like there's another dimension out there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what if I told you I've studied every religion? I went to Haiti. I was practicing voodoo, raised Catholic, New Orleans, Santeria, shamanism. Um, I was deep into deep into witchcraft and New Age. Yeah. I traveled the world. I mean, I was all around. I lived in Greece, London, Barcelona, Paris, like all over the U.S. Had all this money, cars, houses. I mean, women galore, like any woman I wanted. But I was empty yeah. because I was thinking like, what, like, what's the purpose of life? I wasn't my life. My, I was successful. Graduate degree. I'm in graduate school. I got a bachelor's degree. Almost finished my graduate, I, but I didn't just because I just I didn't need to. I had so much money. I was an air traffic controller in the military, but I was empty. So I had all this money, success, check, 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 check. But I didn't know the purpose to life, and that's what bothered me so much. What well, what is religion? Well, my my son would now say because he's 13 that it's a way to control people. <laughs> so, right, that's before there was structure and government. It was just a way to control people. Isn't religion like a way, like a practice that you repeatedly do? Yeah, a ritual. Yeah. A ritual. Yeah. So if you come to work every day, isn't that religious? Right. Yeah, but it depends on how you... How about meeting up with your family for a family gathering every two weeks? Isn't that religious? Yeah, definitely. And if you all believe in the same principles and morals, isn't that a religion? Yes. Yeah, so I have people question me, how are you going to raise children if you don't take them to church? How are you going to raise them? I go, because there's morals. You don't necessarily... But where the, where, where, you have an organized religion to define what good morals are. And where did, where did morals come from? Oh, you know, that's a good question. Um, yeah. How do we know what <laughs> morals is. are? Because I know people that when I was in... <laughs> came from God. Love. I, I would think they would come from love. Is love a feeling? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a respect and a feeling that you have for one another. So do you believe a pedophile that believes that, that it's okay to, to, to sleep with children because they love them? No, no, no. But but you can't do that because yeah. they be, but they believe it. Yes, I know, but I think. But, that's, but who makes the who? So are you right or the pedophile right? I don't know. After having a child and looking at a child, I had a hard time even. But who defines that? So if we know that there's an actual. Mother, maybe. So, maybe. so if you know that there's some type of moral code in the in, in the spirit yeah. realm, right? Yeah. That mean, that means that there was some type of higher power that created these spiritual laws. Yeah. There has to be. Right. That, because I know people that think that murder is right. I have friends from where I'm from that they literally believe well, that. Because it's written in the Bible, right? Or it's no. written in the Quran, or it's written in the Torah. They believe that more. That, that, no, not the, I'm, not, I'm not even talking about the written books. Yeah. I'm talking about people. I know people that believe murder is right. I, believe, I, I know people that believe that polygamy is right, having a bunch of wives. But then I know people that believe that polygamy is wrong. And I, know, and I believe murder is wrong. That doesn't worry me. Polygamy doesn't worry me as much as my, I draw the line with pedophilia. Yeah. But you, but you see what I'm saying? Rape, yeah. but, but, but there's people that really believe it's right. Yeah. That, that, like the top 1%, the elite. You, 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 you know, they, Maybe they weren't loved enough. You see, it gets spiritual. Yeah. Like you said, you were raised in a bad environment. It gets spiritual. It is, so how, so like, it is said that the owners of Disney and the people who work for Disney that are at the top... And create a lot of these Disney movies are pedos. Yeah, has turned them into this person to believe that. What turns people into like you know the one guy that has a family, he has a wife and kids. A hard worker one day just wakes up, kills his whole family, and kills himself. And the neighbors are like, "What happened?" You see it on the news. He's just lost. But, but how did it switch? What happened? I don't know. So, like, how does this happen? Like, what is going on? What is, you, you've accessed the spirit realm, so have I. We know there's something higher. Ooh, like, what is going on? And what are these spirits, these opposing forces? They don't value their own life. What are they, they fighting over? For some people who don't value their own life to not value somebody else's. Have you ever met someone that was just normal and then just switched up? Went crazy? And ended up in a psych ward? Yeah. A family member? Yeah, my stepfather, yeah. Stepfather, I saw a male. I really looked up to. Yeah, he had a big fall from grace. 
he was diagnosed with a terminal illness and he just his mind couldn't handle it. So and think about that. What happened? You knew him growing up, so you knew that wasn't his character. Right. So what shifted him? A demon. Right. They're spirits that enter people. Yeah. We are spirits and bodies. These are just vehicles. Right. They're gonna go back to dust. So if my son comes home at seven years old, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you have a child too. If my son comes home at seven years old and says, Daddy, I'm gonna be a girl today. I want you to call me Alice. That would bother me. That's not right, because that's my son. So why would I say, son, it's okay? But then if, if I go against it and I say, no, you're a boy, your name is your name is Richard, your name is Jeremiah, and I tell him that, I can go to prison. I can, I can get arrested from child, from child services. Did you know that? Not now, not in the state of Florida. But in a different state, like California. I'll tell you something, I was agnostic. I was, I was against Jesus, right. it's completely. I studied Islam, Buddhism, everything. I was a warlock, about to be dual inducted in Haiti and Puerto Rico. I was in New Orleans, Haiti, I was deep, deep. I had the beads on, the altars, I, I seen spirits. I seen them, I knew them, they were real. I seen power, I sold a lot of drugs, I was successful in both, both areas. And I had an encounter with Jesus Christ. He encountered me in my apartment alone. This isn't no religion and no church. I had a supernatural encounter where he knocked me to the ground. Demons came out of me. I got healed of a disease that doctors couldn't heal. I got filled with the peace and annoying deep within my spirit that will never, like, I, look at me. Like, you, I'm not, I'm a pastor. And it's not because of religion, organized. This ain't organized religion. It's for It's relationship with Jesus. I know, like, he's shown me supernaturally too many things. Religion is real and it's wrong. Religion is organized structure. Right. This, this, it's religiosity. You know what that is? Follow this rule, these rules of a God you never met. There's a lot of people in the church that never met him, never had an encounter, never have a relationship with him, but they follow in fear. That's demonic. That's wrong. Jesus came to rebuke those people, the Pharisees and Sadducees. Why are you putting yokes on my people? It's not about that. He walked with the common people. He dressed regular. He, he was preaching love, but he was preaching repentance because there is a moral code and ethic that God created. He was teaching the specifics about the law because they, they didn't understand the 613 Mosaic laws. He was saying, you don't understand. Let him cook. Say that adultery is wrong, but even if you look at someone with less than you're married, that's wrong. Let him cook. It's deeper. It's love. If I, I have a wife, if I go and start watching porn, that's wrong. Right. Well, I got a wife. It desensitizes you. It, it does. And we, we know scientifically and, and like it, just anatomy and physiology, we know that it's wrong. But there's a deeper spiritual revelation that the physical always, it happens in the spirit and it manifests in the physical. So anything in the physical that's happening with the body, sickness, there's a spiritual consequence that's happened. Right. That's why I've seen miracles in my church. I see people get healed out of wheelchairs. I see people, I've seen people get healed from cancers. I've seen people who are bipolar and schizophrenic, on drugs, on the pills, come to the church, get delivered from demons and never go back and are leaders in the church now. I've seen too many testimonies, fruit. So I'm here to tell you, I know this. He about to because save her I'm soul. I'll never see you again. <laughs> because you have a very, it seems like she's very receptive. A good heart. And there is a purpose to life. <laughs> and it is to go back to our creator. We are soul, spirit, and body. Your soul is your mind, will, and emotions. It's who you are. Right. And this is an earthly body. So near death, near death experiences. Right. People die all the time and they leave their body and come back. Die in the hospital bed. You can go on YouTube, just type in NDE. There's too many. I study them all the time. And they always go encounter Jesus in heaven or hell, demons. These are dimensions that are real. It's not what we think on, on TV. They're real dimensions. Think about this spot, the voodoo. Why it's so like, it's so, it's so like focused on de demonology, evil things. If it's just a, oh, who cares thing? Why is it so specific and detailed? Because there's an intention. Even that, that house of blues is a, is a church. Right. It's an intention. Right. It's not just to be funny. They, they did a whole, you know, 25 years ago, they did an entire ritual on the spot. Go ask your manager. They oh, came, yeah, when, I think my manager. 1997, she's, she's, 1997, they came here and they did an entire ceremony. They said it, she said it, where they put mud and they did rituals onto their deities. And they're all around the spot. That's, you, you know what an incense is? An incense is to create an atmosphere in the right. spirit realm. Right, to help, like, dragon's blood helps get rid of negativity. Show me that, where's that at? I like the cross. God bless you. Dragon's blood, look at that. Dragon's blood incense. Yeah, this is the one that's supposed to help dispel negativity. Spell negativity. Oh, can, can I tell you the, the best thing for spell negativity? The blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm a Christian. You Christian? I'm a devout Christian. Yeah. What, like Catholic or Christian? Oh, I'm a Christian. Holy Ghost filled. Oh yeah. I Born again. Me Christian. Oh yeah, I've been baptized three times. Baptism doesn't save you. You know that, right? I know. I know. It's faith. Yeah. This place has me a little bit. You feel it? You feel the evil? Some of the artists. It's pretty evil. You, you know, it's a church over there, a satanic church over there next door. Oh, no. no you, want, you, want, you want to go see it? Go see it. It's the right there. Church? The Rock Church? The Rock, no. The, what is that? The Rock. The Rock. 
Where is it at? There's one in here. It's a cult. Really? I don't know about that lady. She wearing a lot of six six sixes on the side of her head. I'm not gonna hold you. Where's it at? There's one in here. It's a cult. Really? You see, there's there's spiritual there's spiritual stuff going on right now. I'm gonna pray for her real quick. It's her birthday. All right, I'm gonna pray for you real quick. Five second prayer. Can I pray for you? Sure. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your Isabella that you show her the truth. I pray that you have specific angels surrounding her, good angels that will protect her from all deception. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would take the veil off her eyes, save her soul, her whole family, even her husband. Let them have a supernatural encounter with you like you did with me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. You're a celebrity. So can I ask you a question? What is the Rock Church? It's a cult. It's a church. Where is it at? It's on 192. 192? Yeah, it's not around here. I knew there was one in Gainesville. I didn't know the one here. What? Should we which one would you like? There's one in the What's the Rock Church like on 192 and what? I've never even gone in there because it's a cult. It's scary. Is that Assembly Christian Church before I go. I Assembly was... Christian Church? Yeah. Well, God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to let you know that God is amazing and Jesus Christ is the only way. I promise you he's the only way. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. No problem. Come on, in Jesus' name. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Bro. You see, that's how you preach the gospel, guys. No one talks about what the purpose of life is. No one talks about it. What's up, man? God bless you, brother. God bless you too, Mark. We got to preach the gospel everywhere we go. It's hot out here, man, but we exposing the darkness. On to the next. Hey, so we're still at Disney Springs. We're at Planet Believe it or not, I've never been to Disney World as, like, just being older. Like, I barely remember the first time I went to Disney World. And I was probably, like, two, maybe, or something like that. I only know it because I've seen pictures. Other than that... Don't ever recall being there. In Hollywood. I'm going to go straight in there and I'm going to go straight to the bar. And I'm going to preach the gospel to the bartender. In and out. I'm not going to hang out there around drunkards. I'm not going to try to drink alcohol to win him to Christ. Hey, what's up, man? Good. Where's the bar at? The bar is going to be on the second floor. Second floor? Yeah, I'm just, we're just going to go. All right. Um, Dude, we're just going to go to the bar. You're all set. Thank you. Floor, all right. You see... I'm going to tell you something. People deal with homosexuality because they have generational curses, altars speaking against their lives. Usually, if you look back at the bloodline of people who are dealing with homosexuality, there was iniquity. There's an altar of iniquity set up. That young man down there, man, he could be touched by God and give his life to Christ, but he's just in deception. I'm telling you, it's straight deception, bro. It's straight deception, bro. Let's get it. We in here at the bar with it. How you doing, man? I used, to, I used to be at every bar in the nation, in the world, man. I used to be going to cities just to get drunk. My goal was to go to cities Dang. to get drunk, to get lit, and party. <laughs> that was my lifestyle, literally. Wow. My, 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 my joy came from drinking and partying and woman. Now it's crazy, wow. right? I'm coming to the bar to preach. Good, how you doing, man? All right, you know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get two of those uh, soda waters. With, uh, can, you, can you give us cups of lime with ice? Cool. So, yeah. Motel drinks, like if you, if you ever go to a, let's say you're, you're at a family party, and everyone's drinking and you know God's called you to go there to preach the gospel, make sure that you get motel drinks, which is alcohol-free, like alcohol-free pina colada, alcohol-free, you know, whatever it is. I just decided to get soda water. Try to interview this brother right now. Lord willing, he'll receive it. Hey Amen. quick question. Can you give us like a two-minute interview? For, uh, get... Okay, as you guys can see, look, the soda water with a line. Tap Jesus Christ in your heart? How long ago did that happen? Uh, probably like 13. 13? So what is... You grew up in the church? Yeah. So what do you think about the, um, this month, Pride Month? Uh, uh, it doesn't really bother me. I don't get into politics. But what do you believe? Uh, what do you believe? Uh, can't comment at work. Okay, yeah, true. How old are you, bro? Uh, 26. 26, okay, cool. I'm 33, man. I just had an encounter with Jesus, bro. He changed my life. I wasn't raised in the church. I was raised in like in witchcraft, actually. And then I had an encounter with him, and I, re I got rid of everything. I got delivered from demons. Healed from a disease doctors couldn't heal. I was in the drug game and everything, bro. Deep, 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 deep. And he took me out of it. Supernatural encounter. Not, not even in the church, in my apartment. So I want to let you know, bro, he's more real than we, we, we even know. And as we get closer to him, he reveals himself more to us. What if I told you in our church we see miracles every single service? That's good. Like, we're like real tangible, like... Miracles, for real, like not, not religion. Come check out the church, bro. Let me pray for you real quick. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother, Lord, that you would reveal the truth to him. I pray that you would surround him with angels, Lord. Cut up, cut off anyone that's not for him, Lord. Break any soul tie. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you, man. Amen. All right. 
So yeah, Disney done got exposed once again. Never even heard of Disney Springs. It seems like it's one of like it's just like another compound that they have. Or is Disney Springs Disney? I don't even know. But that has to do with Disney. It is Disney. And bro, absolutely demonic. There's no deny there's literally no denying it. You feel what I'm saying? If you're any if you're if you're spiritual at all and believe in any sort of spirituality, you can see all of the demonic things that were in this first house of blues. Just when they even bro from the jump. But look at the top. Yeah, I seen what was going on. Look at Literally a snake at the pulpit. A snake at the pulpit. Insane. Bonkers. Almost seems as a, as the Antichrist. R realistically speaking, deceiving people. But look at guys. It's amazing. Jesus is the way, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Shout out to Richard Lorenzo Jr. for the, for just man for just for following God and the voice of God because. It's not the easiest thing to do, realistically speaking, but man, he's really out here doing it. And, you know, they're working together. You know what I'm saying? And he was really led to this spot, exposed the entire spot down to the T. It was just amazing to see. Just, it was just amazing to see, yeah. So make sure you do smash the like button. Turn on post notifications so you can catch when I drop another video for you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one the same way y'all catch me in the next one. Peace, love y'all.